Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai, double honor to the elders, great millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth, striving for the whole four leg, enduring all afflictions and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, we talk to Dr. Ragatha Makim and Akwakim. I just want to go into some scriptures, just again, sticking to the subject of the flesh um, and remaining spiritual and just. You know, staying on your ten toe, or you know, your, your ten toes, and standing firm, fighting. And uh, Jeremiah seventeen and nine, it says, "The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it?" Okay. So the heart here is not referring to the the organ that pumps blood. It's talking about your brain, your mind. So I want to just show that, which is lab in the Hebrew. It says, "The inner man, mind, will." Heart understanding, okay. The innermost parts, the mist, which is your, your mind. That's where the spirit resides, in the top of your dome, your head. Okay, that's why you call it the size of your your head. Um, you know, closest to your your eyebrows is your temples. Is the temple of the Lord? We are the temple of the Lord. We are those lively stones. We're willing and found the elect. But that's what it is. Okay, conscience. Okay, the moral character, the seat of appetites, the seat of emotions and, and uh, passions, the seat of courage, all that resides in the mind frame and the spirit. Okay, so that's what that is. But it's desperately wicked who can know it. A lot of people don't know. Well, they more or less know that they have evil thoughts, but they don't really consider the, the how detrimental it is to them, how they, they're enemy to themselves. Okay, um, like I said, it's not always Satan fucking with you. Or, um, you know, it's yourself. But we know the spirits. We use the brain, use your flesh to to, to um towards your disadvantage or to t test and try you stuff like that. But sometimes you know the flesh just does whatever it wants. You know, that's why you got to gain control of your, yourself, discipline, fast. Pray, check the thoughts that cross your mind. You have to rebuke and get them, cast them out. Because, um, like I said, the heart is deceitful. Okay, it can conjure and generate deceitful thoughts. And it says, it's deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? All right, so people don't really know how evil. Um, the flesh is, you know, how, how their evil their mind is. They just say, oh, it's just human nature. Or, um, you know, whatever whatever excuse they have out there for it. Okay. So let's go to, from there, in the book of Mark 7. Let's see what Yahweh Shai says. This is... Um, Mark 7 and 20. And he said, That which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. All right? So do that word heart again, which is always referring to the mind, not the heart that pumps blood. It's in your chest area. Okay? It says, for within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the men. Okay. So, again, that's why it's very important to remain in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through reading, praying, fasting, and whatever, ever, whatever word that is out there that helps you to maintain that through, you know, with meditation, thinking upon, uh, you know, 
you know, uh, repeating itself, you know, uh, reciting, you know, mentally to yourself, repeating it, whatever you got to do to maintain yourself in the spirit because the mind is constantly working. The flesh is constantly working. Evil is constantly working at work, you know. But we always have, we have to focus on ourselves primarily first. Because we know the world is evil. We know that the, there's people out here that are evil. We know that the government is contrary to evil. You know, they're set up to oppress and, you know, Esau. You know, we know this, the heathens, the nations, but we have to look at ourselves. We have to pay attention to ourselves and focus on that. You know, I'm not saying that there's other things that we have to focus on as well, but we can't lose focus on, on ourselves, okay? We can't get too comfortable. We can't get too relaxed. But oh, I'm, I got this, and and then boom, you're hit with something you don't even know what you were hit with or how, what happened. Okay, so you constantly have to be circumspect, you know, aware of your surroundings, having a keen mind, an attentive ear to what's going on, and and discerning the times, you know, because we're in the evil, we're in evil times, so we have to always be circumspect. But this is where these things come from is the mind, okay? The mind is set up to be against us. And we have to fight against that, okay? Um, you know, I'm just going to bring out, you know, there's two separate, I think it was two or three separate dreams that I had, you know, in times past where, you know, certain things occurred in the dream. You know, I'm not going to get into the whole details of from beginning to end regarding, you know, those dreams, but focusing on what I'm talking about. Um, in those two or three dreams that I can't remember, you know, the exact number, but I know it's two or three. Um, I always ended up e- even co- coming across my own self or looking at myself in the mirror. Okay. Meaning, you know, I was, Basically, what I got out of that when I was looking at myself is that I was coming to a realization that I was going to have to face myself or I was going to have to face, you know, yeah, basically face myself, you know, or I was seeing two sides of myself and one of them was going to end up winning because, like I said, it's, it's, it's more than just going against the heathens and nations and, you know, enemies but you are your worst enemy you have to go against yourself you are going against yourself the flesh is going against you every day okay so that's what i'm just speaking on and that's what i'm focusing on for right now you know the spirit of yahweh bashima was shy um so yeah you know that's where all these things come from man we can't lose track of that so let's go to uh, Hebrews, and I, I'm not gonna make this video long like all the other videos. You know, I know, you know, Jake, Israel, in general, they don't want to sit down and listen to anything that has to be said. They just want to, they don't want to be here for entertainment and or see what's going on. Uh, you know, hear if there's fucking cheese man, you know, mean gossip or you know some bullshit instead of just listening to what's going on, what's being said, and actually considering, you know, the. The, 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 the information that's being told to them, whether it's they like it or not, you know, sit down and listen, okay? It's just an excuse why Israel, you know, doesn't want to pay attention, listen to shit. That's all it is. You ain't always got to spice everything up. You got to learn how to have discipline and sit down and, and, and listen, Okay? So right here, it says Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22. It says, let us draw near. It's like we start, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll start there. Hebrews 10 and 22, it says, let us draw near with a true heart. Is that word heart again? The mind, a true mind frame. Okay, the true uh, spirit, true understanding. And full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Okay, and that pure water is his word. The law says commandments, 
Okay, so the way you sprinkle yourself from the evil conscience, that mind frame and bringing it to subjection, discipline, is by way of maintaining yourself in this truth. Okay, walking circumspectly, you know, in fear of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, with faith, with works, all that mingled together, pray, fasting, in order to sprinkle that. That sprinkling of the water is his word. Each time you come into his word, you're, you're dipping yourself into that water, spiritual water, spiritual baptism. Okay? It says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Because the mind, that's what it does. It tosses you to and fro, you know, causing you to waver, doubt. That's what the word wavering is, is to, to be doubtful. Okay? It's always second guessing or no, it's this way, or whatever, and it's not, you're not listening to what the Spirit says according to the Scriptures and having confidence and faith within that. But you're always leaning, to, you're always leaning towards your faith, your flesh, your own um, counsel. And that's not what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai wants. Because the mind can tell you whatever it wants. Your own self can tell you whatever it wants. Whatever is pleasing to you, whatever is, you know, that's what you're going to go for, but you always have to come back to the scriptures to get the, the final answer, the truth. Okay, we go to the, to a brother that's within you, the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh is dealing with, and they'll tell you the truth. Okay, so it says, For he is faithful that promised, and let us consider one another to pro provoke unto love and to good works. Okay, so that's what our job is to do to abstain. You know, or you know, refrain ourselves from evil thoughts, evil thinking, adulteries, murders, thefts, you know, things of that nature. We don't want that. We want to have positive, a positive mind frame, you know, of, you know, like I said, a pure, washed, uh, and our bodies washed with pure water. We have to, we don't have pure thoughts, you know, good thoughts. Okay. And the only way we're gonna get pure thoughts and good thoughts is by getting pure water. Right? You are what you eat. So we wanna fill ourselves with with something that's pure, you know, untampered, clean. Then you will be untampered, clean, pure. Okay? By way of the word. Alright. And it's all about just having faith and believing. And, and sometimes, you know, not, well, it, it's about knowing. It's about knowing yourself, knowing the truth, knowing the things that we're speaking about. What I'm speaking about right now is, is uh, like, fundamentals, okay? The foundation of the scriptures. So, but it's very important. They're very important. You can never get enough fundamentals. Fundamentals is what's going to hold you up. But it's, it's your foundation, Okay. So, yeah, you know, I want to bring that out. So I'm going to leave it with that. Uh, hope it was edifying. Until next time, I want to say shalom.